What is going on YouTube? So we're coming at you with our final Citadel video. Uh, at the moment, you know, this, this is a speed build of uh, Castle Dragonberg, you know, completing it. Uh, there will be other content in between it as well, so, you know, keep watching. But while this does a speed build at the moment, we're just going to talk a little bit about the game, how we liked it, our experiences on it, and what we disliked, etc, etc. I'm going to kick it off with saying, um, I, I quite, I really enjoyed the game. Uh, I think it could have been, um, you know, with, with server stability, it could have been a lot better with a higher pop because PvP was actually quite fun for the rare few instances we actually got in it. Yeah. Um, I really like that there is an immediate sense of adventure and the world is fun to explore. Uh, the game also feels like the mechanics are fairly sound, not necessarily balanced or anything yet, but you know, you can, I didn't really have any problems using the interface or getting around doing the basic stuff. The problems that I had were latency issues and the fact that, as you just said, there weren't many people on our server, but that also ties into the latency issue. So we didn't really get to see what pvp is like because that could have a huge amount of replayability that we don't or haven't experienced so much yet yeah our main goal at the moment was pretty much to just build something cool castle dragonberg but there's nothing to do after that except for grind mobs to get to a max level or level 40 to level 45 to make the ornate stuff and then what's to do after that as well like i've already shown ornate looks fucking dope as hell um but yeah, there's not much point in going further at the moment because I think I think raiding and PvP in this game should be the main focus as well. It needs to be brought up because yeah. they've made it multiplayer. They've made it a larger scale multiplayer game. So I feel like that's the direction they need to go. This isn't an MMO, so people shouldn't be grouping up to do PvE as the primary content. Yeah, that's right. Like, the, like it, it's not hard to gain XP, but it's boring. Because all you do to get your main yes. XP is just kill mobs over and over again. Just spam fireball. Spam fireball. You do get experience from PvP though as well. Yeah, which I actually like. I do too. But to me that says, okay, you know, if I was making a game and that was implemented, then it's just, it would tell me, yes, this is a game where PvP is a big thing or a big focus. And because we haven't ran into anybody really, it hasn't been a big focus. So I feel like without that, it gets dull really fast because nobody just wants to farm mobs especially when they've been having these ai issues as well yeah well, which AI the devs have addressed that. that would be another positive thing i would say is that they've been really quick to address things and to respond to complaints in the community and in the patch notes it says things are fixed but as you said before not always is that true and sometimes it might be fixed in one instance but you know if you're the one still having the issue then it doesn't feel like it's fixed yeah, that's right. Uh, the devs... It could be that the game's just still a bit hype at the moment, but the devs have been quite good, quick to address things. Um, but yeah, I think if the devs stuck to this game, it could be much greater. It's a good game right now, which is very rare to see for an early access uh, online sandbox type of game. And normally, they're really shit when they first start off. What's um, your biggest... Aside, aside from lag, what's like... if? If there was no lag and there were plenty of people, what would be your complaint? What would be like your biggest gripe? Raiding's boring. Like the way the, the way, way you, you have to raid boring, right? is yeah. The so way you have to raid is just weird. They nerf telekinesis so that you can't just rip apart buildings or whatever. And so like you're left. What did you say you're left to do with raiding? Just chugging mana potions and sitting there spamming, right? Yeah, that's it. You that's should have impressed. to like. You should have to farm for like, uh, you know, like a magical bomb or some shit like that. Yeah. There should be some higher tier stuff that you use for like proper rating instead I of just. I still like my region idea, where it's something you got to go out there and find that's basically a component that allows you to use a spell that does really affect the rating. Yes, but... so uh, I like that. But yeah, it's like with the telekinesis thing, it got nerfed today. Um, so you, it's pretty much pointless now. It seems like you can only use it on abandoned buildings, buildings that aren't claimed by thrones. So what that means is, is like, um, you know, an area you, you could, like you could, that big rooftop that we found, you could tear chunks of that because it wasn't claimed. Yeah. So you could go into um, build mode and just destroy it anyway without telekinesis. So telekinesis is just pointless. Uh, what I think they could do to address it is because you can just pull off one stone wall 
like, just like it's nothing. Um, instead of having a 60 second cooldown, maybe a 30 minute cooldown. Yeah, make it more powerful, but put it on a bigger delay so it can't yeah. be spammed. So you, at the moment, in the current state of the game, you would have to use mana pod, spam a wall or something, and then like... It could be crazy powerful still, though, if you ever did have enough people to make groups. Ooh, so that is true. And people just running and using it. Yeah. I feel like there needs to be something defensive that you can place in the base, maybe like the obelisk. Yeah, there's. I think there are attack things and defense things that'll attack people when you're not there. And there are shield things as well. I'm not sure how they work. We never tried them, but I'm going to assume that they can't get past the shield. Um, or they have to destroy it or something. It has health. That's what I'm going to assume anyway. Someone in the comments will say what the shield actually, how it works. Probably my most favorite thing that I really enjoyed in this game were the buildings you could make. The buildings were fucking awesome. I hated the building at the, at the start, but once I grasped how it actually worked, everything matches up extremely well and looks extremely nice uh, especially when you get to the stone stuff uh, you can make some really cool looking stuff as you can see with uh, the current building of castle dragonbird i wonder what this game would be like if you didn't have to learn that kind of stuff i guess it would be too difficult to take leveling out of this game but it'd be nice i mean i think it's fair where the uh, stone is at in terms of levels but i find it weird right? yeah 20 25 uh, yeah that's the other thing i find it weird that you get half the stone at 20 half of it at 25 there's no point of building your um stone base until you hit 25 because you can't have everything yeah. that matches up just, just give the whole thing <laughs> yeah even if you give the whole thing at 25 yeah which is fine by me don't give <laughs> don't give half you know? half yeah but yeah apart from that i've really enjoyed the game um but it could have longevity, but at the moment it doesn't because of the lack of content. Uh, there's no point. Don't don't. I reckon they shouldn't try and arc it and just keep adding in more um, more monsters no, and stuff. That would be not good. I yeah. think focusing on what 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 makes the game fun and what keeps the fun rolling would be a better idea. And in this case, it seems to be PvP and addressing raiding. PvP raids, yeah. So, in order for that to happen, they're going to need to start fixing server stability connection so they can increase server pop size. And I think server pop would be good with about 100 players on the server. Or if they absolutely didn't want to go that direction, which would be odd to me, and they want to go more of the PvE direction, then obviously you need to really improve AI. Yeah. And you need to give people quests or something to do so that there's a reason to go out and exactly and he, you know committing genocide <laughs> and i also found that the mobs you killed like at level 30 or something like that like say a dragon or something the armor on them would be like level 49 or some shit like that yeah, which it's is just weird. stuff you can't even wear and yeah. then it ended up being better to go fight weaker stuff because the ratio of experience ends up being higher like if yeah. you go kill weaker mobs higher up it, it you can grind it out faster than trying to fight things you level. Yeah, uh, the low level stuff I could kill in two hits and get 1100 XP. The high level stuff would probably take me, I don't know, between 10 to 15 hits and it'd probably be around 2k XP. So it's actually cheaper and quicker to farm the lower level mobs. I know I'm talking about orcs. But I'm, I'm definitely hopeful. I want to come back to this game and I hope it's like a similar experience for me as the forest where... I play it as a kind of bare bones game and then come back a year later and I'm surprised pleasantly. Yes, yeah, I think so too. I, th I, I hope the devs stick with this game because there's it's the fantasy sandbox market is not taken at the moment. There's a lot of, lot of room in there still. And if you can uh, try and conquer that real quick by being devoted to the game, constantly, you know, working on improving it and whatever, uh, there's a lot of a lot of potential and money to be had here. Most definitely. Yeah, I think that's about it. That about covers it. All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video.
fuck is that? What was that? Is that in our oh. Discord? Yeah, it's Sam. It is Hello, I! Sam. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Get out of here. Hello, Sam! <laughs> I'm here to echo for you. Yeah? Echo, echo Sam. Yes. Tell me a word and I shall echo it throughout my closed in garage. Hankering for some Gwent. I am hankering for some Gwent! <laughs> <laughs> that always cranked me up in that stupid game, because, like, what's his name? Geralt or Gerald? How do you say it? Geralt. Yeah, Gerald. Gerald. Gerald talks... of Rivia. <laughs> he talks all normal and shit, and then all of a sudden he's just like, I'm hankering for some Gwent. <laughs> like, <he> just... <laughs> it's like the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> 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 seen in this game. <laughs> Fly smog! Oh! I lagged. I lagged. I jumped off the cliff and I, I was playing chicken. <laughs> and he fucking wouldn't fly. And he bounced <laughs> off the ground and then started flying. What the fuck? <laughs> I made it to look at Winter's base. Is someone there? Uh, Orish, if you're in the chat, you have about like... 10 seconds to get the fuck away or else I'm gonna murder you with my dragon. I'm already on my way out. <laughs> Is it orange juice? Well, I see you. I'm right behind you. <laughs> Dragons assemble! <laughs> Where you hiding, bitch? <laughs> Where are you? Oh, I see him. There he is. Gerex. You killed him, did ya? He's, he's dead of the dead. Just making some, uh... Oh, fuck! <laughs> I roasted his body and he disappeared. <laughs> I wonder if I can telekinesis a boulder. I can! Fucking throw it at him! Uh, didn't, shit! Didn't work. Did he get stoned for that? Yeah, he can fly. He tried to take off. 10,000 XP. 11,000. Wait, what's on it? It was the same as a Balrog. High level armor and shit. I am shooting this Balrog in the crotch while being two feet from his crotch. Suck it. Should be Give an it easy a kiss. Shot. <laughs> Fuck it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he seems to be pleased. Seer of the get it done mentality. That's good. Bad right, you ready? Placing in a wall. Oh my god, yes. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> a little buggy. Toss it? What is going on? <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. Wah, <laughs> 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 uh... Okay, so we finished the castle, everyone. This is Castle Dragonberg completed. Now let's go have a gaze. So we got our the Inquisitor's emblem up there. It didn't load in properly on the flags up top because I had to relog, but yeah. Um, we'll get to the top soon. You guys have obviously already seen the crypts and stuff, but yeah, we'll go through it all real quick. So here's the first courtyard. In here is the dragon portal. We'll get to that shortly, how that works. And then we go through here into the other courtyard. Pretty fucking dope. So at the back here we have crypt number two, which we'll start off with. So in here is like storage under here. Crawl through there, there'll be more storage. Uh, we'll come back up, and then we'll go into the other crypt. So here's the other crypt, it's pretty, pretty dope. So here's the view of Castle Dragonberg up here. Every tower is functional. This is the dragon portal. You fly in with your dragons. Come inside here. Go down. And while you're on your drag, you can actually open these doors. That's how you get through the castle with your dragons. So all in all, this took a lot of work, but... It looks 
well worth the work and was well worth the work. It looks awesome. So this is actually our final video for Citadel for a while until more content comes out, stuff like that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed Citadel. We enjoyed it. Uh, we can't wait for more stuff to come out. At the moment, there's not really much longevity, but you know, we spoke about that previously. But anyway, guys, um, thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you guys back on Rust.